What's up everybody, Dennis Noonan with US Club Lacrosse and welcome to our preview of the top five teams that we think will make an impact this coming summer. Let's start off with the Crabs, the number one team in the country. You know, the Crabs had an unbelievable fall going 11-0. You know, they've had huge statement wins. They've beaten their rivals, the DC Dogs, the past two times in, in really close, amazing matchups. You know, and then they're just putting it on really good teams. I mean, how talented is this team? They're number one, right? And I don't think they're willing to give that up. So we'll see where they land as the summer goes, but they're definitely a team to watch because they have so much talent, so much depth, ready to go to the college level. Uh, it's gonna be tough to unseat them, but you never know what happens in the summer season. The second team that we'll go to is Shore to Shore OGs. This team has been together forever. They put Shore to Shore on the map. That's why they call them the OGs. Um, they've had some huge wins over the years. I remember them beating 91, and they beat the DC Dogs when they were undefeated a few years ago. So they've had these big, powerful wins in the club circuit. It's just gonna be exciting. How does this team put it together for their last club season together and are they going to become the number one team in the country? They have the power, they have the, the talent. So where do they end up? That's gonna be exciting and we can't wait to watch them kind of in their last season. It's gonna be really cool. Number three uh, team that we're looking at, the 91 Bandits. I mean, the talent is there. It's incredible. It could be the best talent in the country, hands down. I mean, they almost never, ever lose. And when they do lose, we certainly hear about it. I mean, kids go nuts. Um, it's one of those things where it's, they've always been the top team. So when they lose, people love to kind of talk about it. Um, you know, let's see where this team finishes out. Uh, you know, so many kids are committed. So many kids are going to the top schools in the country. Are they gonna have a full squad for their last season? Or are kids kind of saying, hey, we're, we're kind of committed. We're, we're not gonna do as much this year, which is okay, but it's just kind of interesting to see where they end up, all right? Uh, let's go with Primetime. Um, I think Primetime, this 23 team, is super interesting in the fact that we've seen the good and we've seen the kind of bad out of them. They had a really nice fall and they have so much talent on this team. It just, can it gel? Can it gel together for one full summer for them to really kind of end on such a high note? Because we've seen them in person and they've been absolutely stunning and incredible. And you think they might be the best team in the country. And then we've seen them and they kind of look a little discombobulated and not kind of together and meshing. So let's see what they, they come up with as their final year. And then lastly, let's kind of finish with uh, the DC Dogs or Mad Lacks. I think they've kind of had an up and down club career. They were invincible when they were kids and, and younger. And then they've always just been, you know, the number one or two team in the country. And now they kind of slipped a little bit in, in the past year or so. So it, it'll be super interesting to see how this team bounces back for their last year. Because again, like all these teams we're talking about, the talent is immense. And are they going to put it together for their last season? So it's going to be exciting to see the DC Dogs and we can't wait. Thanks so much for tuning in and get ready for the 2024 preview as that's coming up next.